All right, KTC, happy new year. It is January 1st and it is time to kick off the new year. So with that, we have a lot of fun training coming up that I wanted to talk about, as well as a couple other things that you can do to hopefully get the season off uh, to the best start possible. So uh, first of all, I wanted to congratulate everyone on making it through 2023. <laughs> it always feels like a uh, win to get out of the year and there's so much optimism and excitement for the next year. I wish all of you the absolute best and I can't wait for another great season. So uh, getting that out of the way, looking at what we have coming up for swimming, uh, we're going to be making a shift from our off season. <laughs> I'll commend you on all the work that you've done in the pool, uh, going through all the uh, technique progression for freestyle, going through actually stroke progression on all the strokes, uh, probably more backstroke than you've ever done in your life. Uh, breaststroke went fairly well, and uh, we threw in a little bit of fly, which will make a return next month as we start incorporating a little bit more power work. Uh, but as mentioned, we're going to shift into speed. You're going to see a lot more freestyle, a lot of short, fast sets, uh, a lot of use of fins to get some speed going now. Uh, we're also going to be doing a little bit of technique, which will be more focused on your stroke timing or the coordination between the, the arms and the legs to make sure that when you do pick up the speed by increasing your stroke rate that everything still holds together well in terms of timing so that is pretty much what we're going to be doing in the pool saturdays we're going to continue uh, with some speed work, we're going to do a little bit of testing. I'd like to compare some of the, uh, the CTS tests, the 400 and the 200, uh, compared to a 1500. So you can look forward to that <laughs> and we'll be able to set some good baselines again to, uh, kick the year off. Now I will say that the theme of the first couple of weeks is really just easing back into it. So if you did have a really nice holiday where you haven't done much, like me, then hopefully this will ease you back into the pool uh, a little bit easier, as well as the uh, bikes and the runs and the strength. So uh, don't be too afraid that you're going to get hit too hard coming back. Uh, and if you have been training consistently, uh, you can add a little bit uh, if you need to, but I think you're going to find that these are pretty big weeks anyway, probably bigger than most can handle. And uh, it probably is going to require a little bit of tweaking if you're just working off what I have here. So I will show you how to do that at the end. Jumping back uh, into bike, we're going to be doing some higher intensity bikes. We got some VO2 max uh, efforts. We got some racing, um, which will put us into some of the VO2 max anaerobic territory. So working a little bit on the higher end of the bike, and that's kind of the direction we've been going uh, in. I've also added an additional ride option on the Friday. This is just jumping into any event. Uh, there's a lot of fun events coming up in the New Year in Zwift. Uh, the Tour de Zwift is actually a, a big one that uh, you could throw into your week where you can get a little bit of pretty much everything. Uh, you'll get some endurance work as you're riding around with the group or with the pack as you hit climbs. You'll get some probably some anaerobic or VO2 max work depending on how hard you uh, have to hit it or how long the climb is. And it's just going to give you some variable efforts which simulate you know, kind of what it's like riding outside. So if you want to work that into your week, cool. And then of course, we're always working on endurance, all three disciplines, it's always endurance. So you're going to see the endurance rides and runs on the weekends. And you can add in as many of those as you like. But uh, uh, you're also able to change the durations if it's too much or too little, uh, that will be something again, you can customize. So that's pretty much it for the bike higher intensity on the bike. And then the runs, we're going to kind of rebuild it. Uh, one of the nice things of having everything in the training peaks is I can look back on years past and what we were doing and hopefully make it just a little bit better. And we did bring it back a little bit in the years past. Uh, again, if you haven't been doing that much running or just getting going, uh, this will help ease you back in. But if you have been consistent, this is still going to be good training. So we got a little bit of orientation work. We're going to work on some um, uh, just getting comfortable working at different intensity levels. We'll do a workout on posture, on mechanics, and uh, we're also going to throw in 
uh, all the other uh, intensity levels as we progress through. Uh, so on the Fridays, we got some tempo, we got some VO2 or muscular endurance, some hill work. Uh, just to keep that fitness level. And then we got some uh, VO2 max work. And then on the strength side of things, we're going to be focusing on a strength build. Now, if you haven't been doing any strength work, I would go right back to the beginning uh, where you're just lifting body weight or really light, the anatomical phase or adaptation phase where you are uh, just prepping the body. Now, you don't want to hurt too much. Uh, if you've been lifting consistently, then we're going to try to build towards strength again. Uh, we did that in the... Um, in the off season, I'll say, but uh, it doesn't hurt to do it again. This time really with the focus on uh, proper weight selection. And we're gonna use a new concept called RIR. It's not, a, sorry, it's not a new concept, a new concept for us. Uh, and that means reps in reserve. So that's how many reps you can do at the end of whatever the pres uh, prescribed reps are. So if, uh, for example, on this one, we're looking at eight to 10, Let's use eight, for example, you're targeting that. Once you complete eight, you should be able to do, say another 10 or, or not 10 or 11. You should be able to go up to 10 or 11. So you should be able to do another two or three before you fail. If you can barely make it to eight and you're failing at eight, then obviously the weight's too heavy. And if you can rip off another 20 after you've done eight, then the weight is way too light. So should be about a seven out of 10 RPE. I've added that in. So a quite a bit more description. And I've also separated it from upper body and lower body, which typically they've been uh, uh, full bodies. Uh, but this will uh, allow a little bit of a different structure. You should be able to get through it a little quicker. It's a little simpler. Uh, so anyway, hopefully uh, you can tackle some strength and I would definitely make that one of the priorities of your training at the moment. It's still, you know, winter season and building up the resiliency and the overall strength to handle the training that's going to come in the months ahead is incredibly important. So if I was to make any modifications to bring this down a bit, I would basically pick and choose one bike or one run on the Wednesdays and the Friday. Fridays. So I, you know, I would love for you to join us on the Wednesday nights, but if you, that doesn't work for you and you'd rather run on the Wednesday, then take out the bike uh, or vice versa, take out the run and join us on Wednesdays and run on Fridays. So that would take out two workouts a week. Uh, if you are not swimming on Saturdays, obviously that whole two hour block is gone. And uh, that's pretty much all I would suggest adjusting other than volume levels. So if you're only been running 45 minutes, then don't go for an hour and 50 on the Sunday. Uh, cut that back and uh, do what is appropriate for your current level. So feel free, uh, move those around, adjust as you like. If you're on the pre, uh, premium Training Peaks version, you can move them around. Unfortunately, if you're on the free version, you're kind of stuck with what you paid for. <laughs> so that is uh, what is coming up for training. I did, uh, as we're talking about starting the season off, if you flip over to the KTC website, click on club members area, I have uh, put a little list of the most popular events that uh, KTC tends to jump on. Uh, there is a full list at the TriBC website, which you can click here. And uh, again, this is typically what we've done all year. Coeur d'Alene tends to be a, a popular one this year. So I'm gonna encourage as many people to come into that race as possible. It's gonna be a blast uh, heading down there. That's gonna be my, I'd say, a race of the season, <laughs> nice and early. Um, however, that being said, love supporting the peach. I didn't put um, Dynamics Race in there, which is on the same weekend. Obviously, you can choose to do that, but I have a uh, affinity for the, the peach just because it's owned by the Tri Club now, and I want to support them and keep, uh, keep that going. Uh, Ironman Calgary, possible for me, but uh, and same with Ironman Canada, but I'm going to wait till... Uh, I know what the fire season looks like before I sign up this year. So anywho, um, yeah, you can check that out. Uh, once you do that, if you go into your training peaks, and I'm gonna have to log out of my coach account here. There we go, I'm into my personal account. So if you go into, click on the home button at the top, brings it to your dashboard here. You can input, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> it's because I have the, uh, I've inputted my own goals and I am still connected to the KTC training plans. So I have a lot of events that uh, I'm doing, but obviously there's a lot of duplicates here. So um, anyway, you can go in, put your events into training peaks. That's gonna give you countdowns and timelines for how much time you have to get to uh, those events. 
I've actually built out in the KTC training plan pretty much to the peach and then starting to work towards uh, June and Coeur d'Alene, uh, but not quite there yet. And then the other thing that you can do is you can add goals in here. So that may inform your season as well is what are your goals? And yeah, feel free, write them in here. You can make as many different goal titles uh, as you like. Uh, you can do short-term goals, long-term goals. We're going to talk a little bit more bit of more about goal setting in the first week here uh but um yeah feel free uh check out the list start uh, dropping in your events drop in your goals and uh, i'll take care of the training to get you to the start line and knocking off those uh those lofty 2024 goals so anyway uh looking forward to a fantastic year again we're starting easy so if you've been taking time off which i know you have because i haven't seen many of you <laughs> It'll be a nice, easy um, couple weeks to get back in. Easy. It'll still be hard. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to see everybody. And yeah, let's kick off 2024 on, uh, on a good note. Get some momentum going. So until I see you tomorrow, bright and early in the pool, take care and talk soon. Bye-bye.